Fox. As I said before the break, wanted to get to this story. One of the 18 people charged alongside the former president is former New York City Mayor Rear, uh, Rudy Giuliani. You see him right there on your screen. He's now facing racketeering charges. Giuliani was a personal attorney to the former president and previously made his career using racketeering laws in his cases at the Manhattan U.S. District Attorney's Office. We do have Fox 5 New York's Lizette Nunez. She joins us live outside Giuliani's, ho Giuliani's home on the Upper East Side. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Good morning, Zach. Yeah, we are standing by outside of Giuliani's townhouse to see if he's in town or if he will come out and say something to members of the press following this indictment. But these are serious charges. This goes without saying. And now Giuliani now ha has to answer to them. talk about this until it's over. From America's mayor to now one of several alleged co-conspirators in efforts to help former President Trump overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. A grand jury has voted to indict Rudy Giuliani on 13 criminal charges that include violating Georgia's racketeer influence and corrupt organization statute known as RICO laws. In the 80s, Giuliani used federal RICO laws to take down organized crime in New York when he was U.S. attorney saying this in a 2000 interview. Uh, I'll stand on my record of having uh, prosecuted and put in prison more members of the mafia than probably have any United States attorney in history. But now in a twist of events, he is being accused of breaking RICO laws at the state level. In the late 80s, Giuliani went on to run for New York City mayor and lost and was viewed as an instigator behind a police protest that descended on City Hall in the 90s. The event spiraled and was referred to as a mini riot by then Mayor Dinkins. The event drawing parallels decades later in the 2021 Capitol riot. In 1994, Giuliani went on to serve as the mayor of New York City and rose into the national spotlight known for providing strength and comfort following 9-11. But that rise coming with a fall several years later. The former mayor is now one of many defendants in the Georgia election case and is accused of making false statements, impersonating a public officer, forgery, and filing false documents in an effort to keep Trump in power. Giuliani reacting to the indictment on social media this morning, writing, This indictment is an affront to American democracy and does permanent, irrevocable harm to our justice system. It's just the next chapter in a book of lies with the purpose of framing President Donald Trump and anyone willing to take on the ruling regime. Yeah, and the only way we've heard from Giuliani following this indictment has been through social media. This morning, he continued to defend himself and also former President Trump. He says the real criminals here are the people who brought forward this case. We are live on the Upper East Side. Sack will send things back inside. All right. Former mayor of New York City, Rudy Giuliani, now finding himself on the other side of a RICO case. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, Seth, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. It is 7.45 on the East Coast, 4.45 in the morning over on the West Coast. Let's get our last commercial break out of the way, but don't go anywhere. We've got plenty more to get into here on Live Now from Fox as we take a live look outside at the New York City skyline. Stay with us. We'll be right back.